and it's you, the voice of our show, announcer voice, Nathan Smith-Jones. Give me your little backstory. So I was born in Salt Lake City, grew up in Arizona, and really all over the western U.S., mm -hmm. and um, my father was a dentist turned entrepreneur, my mother was a housewife, a very good one, and... You're a triplet. She raised us. I'm a triplet, you yeah. You are an identical twi triplet. Yes, my one brother is fraternal. My other brother is identical to me, uh, well, 30 pounds ago. Anyway, no, I'm kidding. I tease him. Anyway. <laughs> it's weird. So, yeah. You're, he's special. We That's were two, we were two fraternal. Thing. Yeah, we were two, two fraternal twins that split. So, yeah, I don't understand yeah. that. Let's just move past it. <laughs> but we're going to show a picture, I hope. Yes. Okay, yes. so fraternal twins and what happened after that? And a so lot. what happened after that is we... Uh, my father died when I was 12, when mm -hmm. we were 12, and uh, mm -hmm. my five sisters and th two brothers and I, mm -hmm. we went, moved to Arizona mm -hmm. after that happened. Uh, we were living in Utah when, and when he passed away, and so I have Utah ties way back. Uh, my grandparents, uh, one set, moved here mm -hmm. uh, from uh, just after World War II, mm -hmm. and and then, you know, we've, but the, even my mom's side has had ties to Utah for many, many years. So I went to the University of Utah. Yes. I, I live you. just east of BYU now, which is the district so that I'm running in. So you have a love of both. I do have a love of both, yes. Okay. And, uh, you do yeah. know my nephew is the backup quarterback for BYU, right? Is that right? So I have to I love have no both idea. too. I'm, yeah. of course, you grad, but we, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of bringing in the blue. We're both being bringing We're in both the BYU. bringing in the blue here, yeah. We did not subconsciously plan this BYU we kids didn't. vote for Nathan Smith-Jones, but anywho. <laughs> I love this subliminal thing I you did there. know. So <laughs> you were an English major? Yes, I was an English major. Okay. And then I, and I love writing and, uh, and I've in the past, of course, loved uh, acting and, and directing and stuff. And, uh, and then when I found education, I, I found I, I really loved it and had a passion for it. So I got a master's degree and uh, in secondary education, I, I started my 14th year teaching recently. And, wow. and I'm currently in a doctoral program in uh, educational reform. Okay. Uh, from the University of Northern Colorado. So that's, that's kind of exciting. And, and it's hard because it's just nonstop. Yeah. But, it's, it's, uh, but because I never really had the honor of serving in the military, mm -hmm. I wanted a chance to serve my state and my country. Mm -hmm. I feel like I serve my community by teaching. Yeah. But I, I wanted to serve uh, through, through the electoral for the, in a more official through the capacity. civic process, yeah. yeah. And, and plus, I mean, my family, my mom's side, uh, Udalls go back a long way. They're in politics. I've got two great uncles that are, that are U.S. senators right now. Mm -hmm. My mother's brother is Gordon Smith, mm -hmm. who uh, for 12 years was a senator for, U.S. senator for Oregon. Mm -hmm. And John Merkley took his place um, in 2008. Okay. And so... Um, Politics runs deep. Yeah, it kind of runs there. deep, yeah. See, I didn't know that because my Nathan Smith-Jones has been my co-host right. um, back in the day on KJAZZ. We used to host the movie show, the Magnificent Movie Showcase. That was so fun. And Todd and I used to call us, you know, you are little Nader Nader Sweet Potato. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say you've come that. a long way since those days, and nothing will make you feel more like a grown-up than having your really good friend be running for politics. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, no, i got to, like, mind my P's and Q's. I have a guy on a billboard now. I, I'm an adult, apparently. Right. So we're doing adult things. We're having very well, adult conversations and, today. And I'm a little embarrassed by the billboard. I, I honestly was hoping to keep it off of Facebook. This is why you didn't know about it, because I was hoping to keep it off of Facebook until there was, I don't know, a decision with the election if I came within like 20 votes of winning or something exciting uh, like that. No. Then I would have announced it, but my wife took a photo of the billboard Thank and said, you. Said, Thank wow, you. and she just put it on Facebook uh, without telling me she was going to. I'm glad she did. I'm Good kind, job. I'm kind of glad she did, too. Yes, because so. it needs to be out there. Now, okay, let's talk politics then. Let's talk about District 63 okay. and the House of Representatives right. running for the State House of Representatives in District 20, or 63. Um, what is the platform you're running on? Well, I'm running as a conservative Democrat. I believe... Uh, I believe in being conservative where it counts. That's why it's my motto, conservative mm -hmm. where it counts. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and really, I think anyone of any party, no one thinks, hey, waste my tax dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? No yeah. one, I don't care if you're the most liberal person. No one's going to say, yes, government, please waste my tax dollars. I, I just not think Not as that, a slogan. Yeah, not as a slogan. No. So I just think that uh, the... I, I just think that the... the 
the leadership, uh, the Republican leadership in, in, in the Utah State Congress has, you know, they've done a lot of good things for Utah, but mm -hmm. they've been trusted to run it all for decades. And I just think it's good to have a watchdog yeah. on, you know, because they claim to be, they claim to be conservative. They, compl they claim to be, uh, have our interests at heart. There's a lot of stuff that if it was left to the voters, they'd say no to because yeah. voters are pretty conservative. Yeah. When especially when it comes to fiscally, you know, they're very mm -hmm. conservative. And so I just want to be in there as a um, as another voice, as a strong conservative voice, uh, to just keep an eye on them. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. But I'm I'm also in a, a Democrat in the sense that you know I believe in um, ecological responsibility. I believe mm -hmm. that we have to balance the needs of business and our our uh, our air. We have to keep our air clean. Right. So there are a lot of things I feel passionate about that I think. You know, again, this is what I call common sense conservatism. And I don't mm -hmm. think the Republican Party has a lock. They don't have a monopoly on all conservatism. And furthermore, I, I really drives me crazy when when there's this kind of unspoken thing where mm -hmm. to vote against the Republican would be like voting against the church. Ooh, oh, you went no. there. You know what I mean? And you're in Provo. And I, I was and I'm in Provo. If, yes. Okay. No, no, granted, I don't I don't think people consciously think that mm -hmm. uh, but I just think especially with Trump at the top of the ticket that we has gotta been get very comfortable disproved. maybe not yeah. voting for so yeah Ooh. and this is one of the reasons why I think I have a chance is mm -hmm. um, but for all the BYU students watching mm -hmm. uh, uh, I need you to vote for me because if you guys don't show up I really have no chance so please uh, you know get registered in the in district 63 ASAP and and uh, and get vote. in there. Yeah. Because honestly, I I hate to beat a dead horse. I know we talked about this the last time we were doing our little polity talk segment. Um, it's the system doesn't work unless you have both sides. Right. I love that right. you said you you want to be in there. You want to be the other voice because if it's all one way or all this way, yeah. we have proven time and time again that is why the two party system works. It works when you have both sides in there in a exactly. good mix. Exactly. Because that's when it works. And when it's just right. all this fighting and no one can really get anything done. It, yeah. it really isn't a good thing. And you know what? If you don't like what's happening right now, there's one thing you can do, and that's vote. And right. the best thing you can do to change your world is know who is in charge of you in your district, and that's why we're doing this segment. Awesome. Thank is you. having an opportunity to let people know. And if you're someone that we haven't talked to yet, be sure and, and email us, and we'll we'll give you a call, and we'll get you up here before before it's too late, but time is running out. So yeah. definitely be most concerned about getting registered and knowing, knowing what's happening. And obviously, yeah looking into running in the future even if you really, really hate it because yeah. I honestly thought that you had to have done something a little bit before that, not that you could just sign up and join. Yeah, it's and amazing. Really can. Our country's amazing. It really is. And this is one of the reasons why I ran is because I was teaching my students. I, I teach seventh grade English. Mm -hmm. uh, and this year I'm teaching seventh, eighth, and ninth grade English. Mm -hmm. Not easy. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. but I was teaching my students last year about the political process and about the three branches of government, four if you count the federal agencies. And... And, I, you know, the more we were talking about it, they said, well, why don't you run for something? Uh -huh. And to show them that a regular person can engage in the civic process, uh -huh. I decided to go for it. So, and now you're sucked in. And now, now I'm sucked in. And if it wasn't for my brother uh, giving me a, a, a substantial amount of my budget for my campaign, I really wouldn't have much of a campaign. So thank you, Neil Jones. Uh, thank you, Neil. From afar. <laughs> and, and really, one last thing I'll say about this is that, is that, uh, I have a motto. I mean, a lot of people are angry out there. They're angry at the two-party system. They're angry at the system. So if a two-party system corrupts, mm -hmm. a one-party system corrupts, absolutely. And that's kind of what we have in Utah wow. is this supermajority. Uh, again, the Republican Party has done some really good things in the past, uh, but neither party is perfect. <laughs> you know, we it's need both. far from it. Mm -hmm. We just need other voices in there, to, you know, checks and balances. That's what our forefathers wanted yep. and so that's what I'm gonna try to provide. So. I think the whole motto that we're American first yes and we're Democrat Democrats Republicans and independent or whatever your party is second yes. we need to come together and serve our country Nathan Smith Jones it is a pleasure to have you physically Thank here you. we will I'm continue to enjoy to your voice every day <laughs> I hope you do. and Thank I've got you. a I've got a microphone waiting for you back here so don't <laughs> think you're leaving you'll be hearing some fresh Nathan Smith Jones right here Sounds on Talk 365. <laughs> But in the meantime, get out there and vote kids at BYU and at anyone else in District 63 for my good friend Nathan Smith-Jones 
running there for the House of Representatives. And uh, don't go anywhere because Talk 365 will be right back. Actually, you say that. Okay. First, I'll say, for more information, go to NathanSmithJones.com. Mm. And now we'll be right back after these messages. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>